In today's video, I want to talk about the hospital bag that I packed for Annabella. I'm today 29 weeks pregnant, so I'm in the seventh month. And yeah, I already packed her bag. Um, I'm almost done packing with my bag as well. Um, so I just want to show you which bag I chose. This is going to be my diaper bag, but I'm also using it as a hospital bag for her. And I, th I think it's beautiful. It was pricier. It was on a pricier side versus others. It's beautiful leather and I think I'm going to use it also later um, when baby grows up. And I'll show you why. So the, the bag can fit on the um, stroller as well. And I will show you later how. I have stroller right behind me. And it has this long over the shoulder belt and these two handles so you can carry it either way. So, in this side pocket of the Packapod diaper bag, I packed swaddle blanket or rather swaddle cloth. This is the cloth they wrap the baby in as, as it's born. And I packed everything in individual Ziploc bags so it stays clean. I also brought um, some diapers and uh, just a body wash and a cream for a baby. Um, I don't think I'm going to need it, but I just brought it with. This wasn't on my doctor's list. Um, it looks like hospital is providing these things, but I just brought a um, spare with me. I also packed, as uh, this was on my list, three bathrobes with hoodies and a blanket, which we, we will, just a light blanket since it's going to be spring which we will um, cover the baby with in a stroller. And this all fit. Usually um, this bag, Spakapod bag, comes with these two little bags. One later can serve as a backpack when your baby starts walking and has their little toys with them. They're both zip, 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 have a zipper. This one has a pocket up front. And this one is for food, so it can it will keep your food warm or cold. It's a thermo bag. It has a zipper here if you want to put utensils. Um, it has a little wrap for a bottle to keep it warm, um, and a plenty of space for food. All right. Another one is the same shape, and both have these hooks. So you can um, put them separately on, you can hang them off the uh, stroller or you can just take the whole bag with you. This one has a little pocket on the back in which it has this practical mat, changing mat, which you can use if you um, change your baby outside of your house. And it just has a little uh, you can easily close it and put it right back. All right. And then this one also has a side pocket where you can keep first aid kit, for example. And then here it has a little um, bag for dirty diapers. And then um, a little pocket up front with a net for clothing, for example. And the side pockets for food, diapers, or whatever you choose to use, and hand sanitizer maybe. So both of these uh, perfectly fit in this bag. Like you can hang them off here as well. So there's a little, two little hooks inside, all right? So here you can just easily fit them in a side pocket. There's one big pocket up top where you can later on carry your own stuff, you know, laptop or whatever you need. Um, inside, there's one big zipper pocket and two small side pockets, and there's also a rubber band. I'll show it to you here, with a hook, which you can use for your keys, so you don't have to search for them in the bag. So I also packed five outfits. Uh, this was on my doctor's list, five hospital outfits for Annabella. I packed them separately in a, in a separate Ziploc bag as well. I washed them all and since I still have two months, I think this is a cleaner option. So here I have one, two, three, four, yeah, four 
outfits. In this one, I have two uh, out, uh, four bags, and in this one, I have two outfits. Anyway, so these are um, intended for three to five days um, of hospital stay, depending if you uh, if I'll have a C-section or not. And then I brought another separate bag with these um, kimono style um, tops. So these are only tops, uh, they don't button um, down uh, on the bottom um, because of the belly button. So it's easier to um, check on the belly button. All right. So I got five of these for hospital, as my doctor recommended. All right, I also bought, um, brought uh, two pacifiers. I don't know if I'm gonna need it, but I packed them anyways. A friend of mine who recently had a birth said I, I might need one <laughs> to get some sleep. And then I also bought a hair comb and a brush um, and some cotton gloves. I was told I might need a cotton gloves as well uh, because babies are born sometimes with sharp nails and they can scratch themselves over the face, so this is a good way for them not to hurt themselves. And then I brought a bib as well. Yeah, so that's it. So all of this fit uh, in this um, placapod bag. And now I'm just gonna show you how you can easily um, attach it, at least on my, um, I got stroke, stroke um, stroller. So I'll show you how. So I just have these two hooks and I attach them to each side of the bag. And the bag conveniently hangs here. Okay. Like this. I don't know if you can see it. Super easy. So I hope you like this video and you found it useful. If you um, know, if you're an experienced mom um, and already had a baby, um, I would appreciate any advice. So if there's something you think I need or I don't need, um, just let me know below in the comment. Bye!